All right, so we're working on uh, traversing a list challenge three. In the code cell below, write a for loop that will add the corresponding values of list one, list two, and list three together, and store them in the corresponding position in a list called output list. So list one, list two, list three, and we should get some result that looks like this. So um, we're not writing a function here, just, uh, just so you can see that. Uh, we're just taking each of these values and we want to end up with a result that looks like this. So um, what should we name that? Let's call it, uh, it says we, we should call this output list. And uh, there's a couple ways we could do this. Um, uh, there's a couple ways we could do this. And uh, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll start off in a very simple way. Um, we could say uh, list one sub zero plus uh, list two sub zero plus list three sub zero. Right, I just wanna be, um, I just wanna show you a way that's a little bit more time consuming, but we'll get you there. And then I'll show you a way, I'll show you a better way. Um, that is more in line with what this problem, what this challenge is really about. Okay, so I'm making a list of, uh, oops, this should be, uh, I should be changing the list names here and not the list indices. Okay, and that should be zero. And then um, I'll just copy all this again because that makes sense to do. Uh, it kind of sounds like maybe there were some sound issues that happened. Uh, let me know, please, if that persists uh, in any way. Okay, so list one, sub one, list two, sub one, list three, sub one, and then uh, list one, sub two, list two, sub two, and list three, sub two. So um, I'll just print the output and let's uh, check it against, against what we expect to get as output. Okay. So 4, 9, 14, that's what we expect. That's one way to do this. Um, and uh, I suspect that this would work for uh, passing this challenge. However, um, since we're thinking about traversing a list, um, why don't we uh, write a for loop to do this instead? So I'm gonna say for, um, I'm gonna say for i, in range of the length of list one. I'm going to uh, have this output out here. So I'm gonna have some have an output list that's empty. And um, I'm going to say output list, oops, list dot append. And I'm going to put in here the value resulting from one of these operations. And uh, instead of sub zero, I'm gonna do sub i, sub i, sub i. And uh, this should get us the same result. And it does. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that um, clears up this challenge. Um, we can do this manually, right, because a relatively short list, uh, or we can do it procedurally using a for loop. Um, I recommend doing it procedurally, right? Uh, just simpler that way.